Good morning, students. Welcome to your English class. My name is Carlos Silva, and I am your English teacher. This is day number five. Are you ready to learn English? Let's begin. Day number five, science and me. Let's practice vocabulary about science. So today you are gonna practice uh, vocabulary about signs in context and also you are going to be able to identify signs in context. Vamos a seguir practicando el vocabulario acerca de los señalamientos que podemos encontrar en la ciudad y también quiero que identifiques qué eh, señalamiento tenemos que usar en cada situación que te voy a presentar a continuación. So let's begin by reviewing the vocabulary of signs. I want you to please listen and repeat. No parking. Stop. Traffic light. Yelled. Handicap. School crossing. Do not enter. Railroad crossing. One way. Very well. Now, choose the correct words to complete the signs. Let's practice. Lo que vamos a hacer en la eh, actividad siguiente, vas a escoger el nombre correcto del señalamiento que vemos. Vamos a imaginar que tú vas manejando por la ciudad y ves señalamientos. Tú vas a escoger el nombre correcto de cada señalamiento que veas dentro de tu auto. Are you ready? Let's begin. Look at the picture. What sign do you see? Here we have this sign. What sign is this? School crossing or do not enter. Good job, school crossing. If you see, there's a school right here. We need to, what do we need to do? What do you have to do if you see this sign? Do you have to go fast or do you have to slow down? That is correct, you have to slow down. Remember that if you see this sign, you have to slow down. Let's continue with the next situation. You are driving your car and you see this sign. What's the uh, name of this sign? Stop or do not enter. Very well, do not enter. Remember that if the cars are coming to, uh, toward us, that means we have to return. So what do you have to do if you see this sign? Do you have to return or do you have to go fast? That is correct, you have to return because you, you may cause a collision if you don't do that, right? Let's continue. Look at this sign. What's the name of this sign? No parking or stop. Excellent job, no parking. And what do you have to do if you see this sign? Do you have to park there or don't park there? That is correct. 
don't park there if you see this sign. You have to look for a different parking space. Remember that. It's very important. Let's continue. What is the name of this sign? Traffic light or handicap? Very well, traffic light. What do you have to do if you see the red light? Do you have to go or stop? That is correct. You have to stop your car if you see the red light. And what about the yellow light? What do you have to do if the uh, light is yellow? Do you have to slow down or do you have to go? That is correct. You have to slow down because the light is about to turn to red. And what do you have to do if the light is green? Do you have to slow down or do you have to go? Very well. When the light is green, you can go. Okay, class, I hope you enjoyed this activity. Now I'm gonna explain to you what you have to do. Espero hayas disfrutado esta actividad. Ahora voy a explicarte lo que tienes que hacer. Activity number five. Solve the riddles and help the boss get to school. En tu página tienes unas adivinanzas Vas a um, escribir debajo de cada adivinanza el nombre del señalamiento de cada uno. Y después vas a unir con una línea el autobús y la escuela. Vas a ayudar al autobús a llegar a la escuela siguiendo el laberinto. Okay, class, that's all for today. I'll see you next class with a new video. Have a wonderful day. Goodbye.